Welcome to another ukulele tutorial. I'm Lara, and today we're talking about Travis picking. Now, if you're not sure what Travis picking is, it's essentially a very short finger picking pattern that can be repeated throughout an entire song. It has a fancy name, so sometimes people are intimidated by it. And it can also be played very quickly, but with some practice pattern into your right hand, and you'll be able to apply it to so many different songs. First I'll share with you some song examples so you can see how to use Travis Picking and apply it to a song. Then I'll break down this pattern for you very slowly so you can learn how to play it. I'll also show you two different variations on this pattern, and then I'll give you some chord progressions so you can practice it and get this pattern into your right hand. The first thing to keep in mind is that Travis picking should be applied to songs that have a rhythm of two or four beats per measure. So one, two, one, two, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You don't want to apply this pattern to waltzes or songs that have three beats per measure. So let's take a look at some song examples. The first example is You Are My Sunshine. You are my sunshine. Next is This Land Is Your Land. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island. The next example is Someone to Lava. I have a dream, I hope it will come true, that you're here. Next is Take Me Home Country Roads. Country Roads, take me home to the place I belong. Now you have an idea of how Travis Picking can be applied to songs, so now let's break it down and take a close look at how this pattern is played. I want to point out that I'm playing a tenor ukulele with a low G. Now if you have a high G on your instrument, you can still play right along with me. Your notes will just sound a little bit different because whatever you play on your fourth string will be one octave higher than mine. Now let's start off by taking a look at the Travis picking pattern played slowly. I'm starting off this pattern by playing strings four and one together. I'm using my thumb on string four and my middle finger on string one. Next I go to string three with my thumb and two with my index finger. Back up to string four with my thumb, down to string one with my middle finger, and the last note is string three with my thumb. That's the whole pattern. Let me play it for you slowly. Here's the rhythm of this pattern. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Ideally, the loudest note in this pattern should be the second string. Here's what it sounds like. As you practice this pattern and play it faster, you'll have a greater appreciation for playing that second string louder. Here's a comparison. First, I'll play this pattern playing all strings at the same volume. play it again, playing the second string louder than the rest of the notes. It gives a really nice feel to this pattern and to this rhythm. Now that you've learned this pattern, I'm going to give you two variations. Here's the first variation. We're going to be adding one note to the end of this pattern, and that's going to be playing the second string. So here's what this one looks like slowly with that extra note added on. And 
here's what this sounds like at a faster tempo. The next variation is on the very first note of the pattern, so instead of playing strings 4 and 1 together, you can play only string 4. Here's what this sounds like. And here's what this one sounds like at a faster tempo. Let's review our three variations. Here's the first pattern. Now here's the first variation, adding in the second string at the end. And here's the second variation, eliminating the first string on the very first note. Now I'll share with you two different chord progressions so you can practice Travis picking. My best advice is to start off slowly and practice it daily, even if it's just five minutes a day. It takes some time for your right hand to learn this pattern and eventually it will click. The first chord progression starts on C and then it goes to F, back to C, and then to G7. We'll play through the pattern twice on each chord and pick whichever variation you'd like to start off with. I'm going to play it with the very first pattern that I shared with you. As you practice this and eventually play it faster, here's what it might sound like. progression goes from G to C to D7 and back to G. So here's what this one sounds like. This one will sound like when it's played at a faster tempo. To further your learnings, check out my other videos on ukulele fundamentals and techniques as well as song tutorials. Now have fun practicing Travis picking and thank you so much for watching.